I've just decided that all I want to do, I'm 43, it's not old, I'm aging like guacamole, like it's happening fast. It really is. But you know what I'm trying to do? This is it. I just want to age where I don't hate things that I don't understand. Does that make sense? I feel like a lot of people just hate what they don't get. Like you get to a point where your lives are so much different. You guys, you're so like young. One day people are going to be like, what'd your grandparents do for a living? And the answer is going to be like, oh, my grandmother had hot feet. <laughs> you know? She killed it on OnlyFans, man. It was... How weird is that? It's like, oh, what's your grandfather do? It's like, oh, he played Fortnite on Twitch. I don't... <laughs> I don't even know what those words mean. But I don't hate it. There's a girl right now, a reality TV star. She's selling her farts in a jar. Heard about this? She made $200,000 last year. Selling her farts in a jar. I don't understand it. I'm not mad at her, I'm kind of jealous. I gotta be honest. I got a lot of farts. <laughs> they want her farts because she's a cute girl. No one wants my farts. No one wants me on the jar like... <laughs> lactose intolerant since 1979. <laughs> Yogurt allergy. <laughs> but as an older dude, I'm like, how do I break into the fart business? You know what I mean? I would ghost fart, like, would she ever, like, outsource some of that fart business to a guy like me? I'll do an 80-20 split. I don't care. Can't take it. You give me a ham sandwich and a glass of milk, I'll fill a whiskey barrel full of product. <laughs> People are home waiting for her farts to come in the mail, and they just... Like, Woo! She needs a colonoscopy. It smells like Thanksgiving dinner in there. I know. You could taste that joke. People get mad. I had a, a guy called me I went to high school with because our mascot got changed. Did anybody else's mascot get changed in here? What was yours? You were the Red Men? Oh, yeah. I kind of get it. Tough one. <laughs> I could see that, yeah. We we got we were the smallpox blankets. So it was time. It was it was well overdue. No, I'm kidding. We were the Indians. And someone my buddy calls me and he goes, Yo, we're not the Indians anymore. And I was like, We were never the Indians, dude. <laughs> Fucking Your last name's Antonucci. Why don't you calm down? call you when we need to protest the changing of a pizza box, all right? You save your energy. He's like, what are we gonna do? It's like, we've never been on a helmet. I don't know how it feels. When they put a fat, bald Italian on Zoloft on a helmet, then I'll have an opinion, you know what I mean? Until then, there's other shit to worry about. I got into a conversation about cancel culture recently and about how people who have been canceled, their TV shows aren't on anymore. And it's not fair to the other actors because they're getting fucked over. Cause, like the Cosby show. Obviously, Bill Cosby, huge piece of shit. But what about Theo and Rudy? And <laughs> what about them? Alvin was working at Trader Joe's for a while. You remember, like Denise's boyfriend? That's not fair to him. But just because Cosby's a you know, garbage person, you... They should make an app for canceled people. Like Hulu, but we'll call it, who knew? You know, it is... <laughs> and all the money goes to all the good people on the show, you know what I mean? And the logo's just the guy like, I don't know, wait a second. I get to travel around a lot and do shows. I, I was in New Orleans recently, and uh, I was, we were in a theater that was haunted, and then we went and visited a haunted mansion. You guys into haunted stuff? You guys like ghosts and all that? 
We went to this old mansion, a bellhop, 100 years ago, went up to the attic, never came down, and now at Mardi Gras, he like floats by the window and throws beads for tits and shit. That's a cool ghost. I like old ghosts, you know? I like these lighthouse ghosts. And Think about how lame ghosts are going to be in like two or 300 years when we're all dead. Gen Z ghosts. Gen X. Hipster ghosts. Not scaring anybody, just needly annoying hauntings. Like one scooter riding itself down the street. You wake up, all your K-cups are cold brewed and your <laughs> Wi-Fi password's complicated. <laughs> all your Rolling Stone albums are now the Lumineers or some shit. <laughs> Walk into a building in 200 years, like, if there are any ghosts in here, please identify yourself. And the ghosts are like, um, I don't really identify as a ghost, actually. Uh, I'm dimension neutral, thank you, so if you could stop spirit shaming, I would really appreciate it. Uh, 23 and Me was a thing that my buddy was talking about. I have a friend who did it, and uh, think about how many deadbeat dads and grandfathers are pissed off that that was invented. How many dudes were just like settling into the rocking chair of their life, like I did it. My two families don't know about each other. And then the phone rings. Hi, are you John? You don't know this, but you knocked my grandmother up in Boulder, Colorado in 1971. The guy just hangs up the phone, walks into traffic. He's like, I don't have it in me. <laughs> really? I gotta go meet you at a diner in Jersey? Why? Your grandmother was hot. Fucking get over it. I think it's hilarious that this is what we do with our money in this country. We like, we, everyone's poor but we spit in a cup, we pay a guy to let us spit in a cup and we mail it to them. And then we go, where are we from? <laughs> Just <laughs> And then we believe whatever they send us. <laughs> we know nothing about the guy who gets our spit. I hope the guy that gets our spit's just a drunk guy with darts and a map, just fucking with us, you know? It's a bottle of Jameson, a globe, some darts. He's like, Ashley, huh? Let's see where you're from. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're Brazilian. Enjoy, Ashley. Now Ashley's putting pineapples in her rice pilaf and shit. She's like, I gotta celebrate my heritage. <laughs> hundred bucks to take that test. I'm not paying a hundred dollars to find out I'm an eighth Norwegian. I don't care. What difference does that make? I don't care where I'm from. I want to know why I am. I'll pay for that. I'm riddled with anxiety. I'll scream in a bag and mail it to you if you can tell me why I'm scared of mirrors. How about we all yell out our prescriptions and really get to know each other? What do you say? Are we at that point? On three? Let's do it. One, two, three. Adderall. Adderall. Heard that one. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I'll share too, I don't mind. Right now, Zoloft and ketamine. Yeah. Double, I'm hitting it hard. I have treatment, I have treatment resistant depression. It's not a big deal, it just means my depression's a little tougher than yours. No big deal. I tried three medicines, it didn't work. So they call that treatment resistant. All it means is that I have like a ceiling on how happy I could be. It's not a big deal. I'm just not gonna get as happy as some other people. I'm not gonna dunk. I don't have the emotional ups to dunk. Like, I'll hit some layups along the way and maybe a three. I like to give assists, that's why I do this. So you guys could be happy and, but I'm never gonna dunk. It's okay, I, I'm just, all that means is like, I'm never gonna dance sober at a wedding. Like, That's all. I'm not gonna be excited to wear matching pajamas for a Christmas card. Like, I just don't have that in me. I'm like, oh fucking, no. I'll 
I'll just stand on the side and be like, fuck that. <laughs> I took uh, Ritalin for a while for ADD. Does the Adderall help you? Yes. Yeah? It helps me focus, but I still have no control over what I focus on. <laughs> I take these pills, they help me focus, but I'm out of control. I'm like, how am I supposed to write jokes when I haven't named all my dishes yet? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Get your head in the game. Before medicine, I tried other, I tried illegal shit. I'd self-medicate with Coke. I tried that. I was never good at Coke. I would just do it and then plan businesses that I was never gonna, you know. <laughs> I still think Topless Tapas would be an unbelievable restaurant chain. That's, it's big tits, small bits. Can you see that sign on, on 95? What's the weirdest thing I've ever done on Coke? Excellent question. <laughs> I took the, one time I took the law school entrance exam on Coke, because you were there. <laughs> we were doing lines off the prep test book. It was the biggest book we could find. I, mean, I did it, opened the book, started taking the test, and I aced it. Like, I, I could have got into Yale with this score. So I was all yipped up, smoking a cigarette, watching the sunrise. I'm like, maybe I should go to law school. And then I thought about it. That's a crazy commitment. Three years of Coke? Who the hell's going to pay for that? That's... Can't get that at the bookstore with the FAFSA. I go to therapy. Clap if you go to therapy. Let's hear it. Where are you? Yeah. Thank God for therapists. I have a great one now. Uh, you got to be mature enough for the relationship, I think. I got kicked out of one when I was 19. Beautiful woman, short skirt, high boots, her and I alone in the room, and she's like, this is a safe space. You can talk about anything you want. And I was like, no, I can't. No <laughs> way. You kidding me? Was Chris Hansen in the hall? Is this a trap? I, I've seen Dateline. She goes, you seem distracted. I'm like, have you seen you today? Like, I want to smell your boots. Let's get into this. She's like, get out. I have a great one now, though. It's, 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 if you guys are looking for a job, go into therapy. It, it's job security. Any young people, go do it. Everyone's in therapy that I know. I have a buddy that's 45. He's in therapy because of a blown eighth grade birthday party. He invited a girl that he liked and she didn't show and it like tweaked him. And, and, and he's paying $150 a week to talk about it. That's a my generation thing, you know? I don't know. My, my dad never went to theater. My dad, when he was 12, he had to drive my blind grandfather to the racetrack to bet the ponies. 12 years old, driving a Lincoln up and down 95. He's never once said a bad thing about my grandfather ever. Now I'm in therapy, like, my dad was at my football games, but was he really at my football games? Like, was he there? Just trying to get healthier, trying to get better. I quit cigarettes recently. That was a fun thing that I did. Yeah, that was fun. Yep. Is anyone still smoking in here? Anybody? No? You are, oh, can I smell your fingers after the show? God, I missed that smell. I don't know, it's cool. Kids, don't smoke, but definitely don't vape. Because if you vape, it's awful for you, but you also look like a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. No offense to anybody who vapes, but you look like you're sucking on a garage door opener. It's the stupidest thing. You look like a tall baby with a nine volt battery in your mouth. And your brain's on fire. You ever like driving behind someone and a plume of root beer comes out of their car and you hope they get T-boned at the intersection? When I was trying to quit cigarettes, my buddy goes, vape to quit. And I did research. It causes a disease called popcorn lung. That's a real disease. What a lame <laughs> disease to die from. Sounds kind of fake. It's like, I drank too much kombucha. Now I've got yoga liver. Like, it's like, man. How am I supposed to look my grandfather in the eyes and tell him I got popcorn lung from too much fruity pebble flavored vape juice? <laughs> The guy's been smoking Camel Unfilters for like 300 years. He's like, what do you have, snack chest? Are you serious? Go get mesothelioma, like a real man.
But that's it. Just trying to get better, healthier, nicer. Trying to be nicer to everybody, my wife in particular. I, I snap. React and regret is my life. Anybody else? React and regret? Yeah, it's the worst. I do it all the time. I did it to my wife on our wedding day. You know when you're at a wedding and there's the table where the bride and groom sit and everybody else is out having fun? You know? They walk by, they're like, you look great. And I'm like, we invited you? I don't know. She turns to me and she goes, did you notice that I got your, your ring engraved? And I said, no. And I took it off and I looked. She got, don't let me down. Oh. Engraved inside my wedding ring. In my wedding ring, it says, don't let me down. I flipped. I was like, I don't even know you that well. Are you serious with this shit? Like, don't let you down. I'm, I'm going to let you down. This lets me down. I don't even know if I love you. I'm just scared to die alone. So... Tell everybody to go home. I don't need to. She goes, Jesus, Mike, relax. It's, it's the Beatles song, Don't Let Me Down. Yeah. Played on our first date. And I thought it would be romantic Aww. to get in your ring. <laughs> I was like, wow, that didn't take long, did it? I really let you down, huh? That's, that's my bad. 